Excuse me. It's really sticky. Hey guys, how are you today? Today we're gonna make slime. And we're gonna make it muddy piggy slime because I have these little piggies here. All right, to make slime today, we're gonna need a tray, a bowl, glue, lotion, some baking soda, paint or colors, contact solution, add-ins, a cat, uh, just kidding, not a cat. So first, I'm just gonna add some glue. Don't mind my assistant here, he likes to be a part of everything. I'm gonna do about a cup or so, and this recipe, and this recipe is very like, you know, you just experiment with how much of each thing. A lot of times at school, um, our friends will do it themselves and they'll measure the stuff mostly themselves. So we just kind of try and figure out what amount of each thing works best. So we're just going to do our best here today. This recipe is very just eyeballing it. Okay. So we got our, I'm using clear glue, but you can use um, white glue too. Okay, now we need some baking soda. And I'm just gonna do like two tablespoons right now. And this is where you're gonna add your colors too. So I'm gonna use a little brown paint today and see how that works out. You can also use um, liquid watercolors or liquid food coloring. Yellow and purple make brown or red and green make brown, I think. So we're just gonna mix that up. Okay. Ooh, look at that brown, nice. lotion and the squeeze of lotion helps to just make it um, not sticky and um, helps it bind. Look at that. It looks like chocolate. But my friends at home know that this is not to eat. Yucky. We don't eat glue. Anything that we play with with our hands at school, my friends know that that is something that we do not eat. Okay, next is the activator. activator. Activator! It's our contact solution. It's basically salt water, but that's what's gonna help make the slime into slime. Ready? Just start with a few squirts. It will start to come together as slime. Ooh, it's starting to get sticky. Starting to stick together. <laughs> okay, and this is the part you kind of have to play with. So once it starts sticking together, this is when we gotta start playing with it. So I'm gonna take it out, put it on my tray. And this is where you have to start playing with it with your hands. Just gotta keep playing with it. Add more contact solution if you need to. Keep stretching it. And soon it will not stick to your hands as much. Okay. Whoa. And my friends also know at home that we always keep our, um, we always keep our slime on a tray, okay? Or some kind of dish or plate, okay? It should never go on the floor. It shouldn't go on our clothes. It does not go in our mouth, okay? So you need some kind of tray to play with it. And when we're in our classroom, we always play with um, slime on a tray, okay? So now, I'm gonna mix in some Glitter, and I'm gonna mix in some glitter. I have some gold here at home, or you could use glitter glue. 
you know, mud usually isn't very glittery, but <laughs> we like glitter, so we're just gonna mix it in. Make a sparkly mud for the more you play with it, the more stretchy it will be. And I got my pigs here, so let's count 10 piggies into our mud. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pigs! This would be a great time to play the how many are hiding game. We could hide some of our piggies in the mud and try to guess how many are left. Okay, so if I do only five, one, two, three, four, five piggies. If we hide some in our mud, hide your eyes. How many piggies are left outside of the mud? Two. Okay, so I had five. We put down two fingers. One, two. How many are left inside the mud? One, two, three. Let's see. I found one. piggies were inside the mud so three and two makes five let's play again I got my five piggies hide your eyes <gasps> how many are outside of the mud right now Ooh, I have one two three four See if you can guess how many piggies are hiding in the mud. Remember, we had five. How many are hiding in the mud? Hmm. We had five. There's one, two, three, four. So we put down one, two, three, four fingers. <gasps> how many are left? One piggy is hiding in there. One other thing, friends, that we can do with our slime is cut it with scissors. So if you have kid-sized safe scissors at home, we can use it to cut our slime, which is so fun. It helps us work on those hand muscles and those muscles we need for scissors. So all you need to do is just we can stretch it and cut, 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 cut. As long as you have a grown-up around, you can use your scissors to cut, cut, cut. Okay, but we need to be safe with our scissors, so we always make sure we ask an adult first, and then we can use our scissors with our slime. We can practice our cutting. So fun! All right. Okay, friends, I hope you had fun making slime with me today. Piggies in the mud slime! And I hope you have a great day. Maybe you'll get to make some slime at your house. If you do, send me a picture or a video. And don't forget to read every day. And be nice and do your best. All right, friends. I'll see you next time.